What's up guys, Snoffzig here, and today we're gonna be talking about the Black Diamond Raven Ice Axe. So, reviewing an Ice Axe is kind of difficult because, I mean, there's not a whole ton to go off of here but it is also a really important tool that I think every mount that every mountaineer should have and it's kind of a symbol of mountaineering and so as a result choosing an ice axe is a really important part of you know any mountaineer's development and there's a lot of choices out there and so I thought I might uh, try and help uh, people who are hoping to pick up an ice axe by giving my thoughts on this particular one the black diamond raven uh, ice axe. Now, number one thing you need to know about ice axes is, is, of course, you need to know what sort of climbing you're going to be doing, right? If you're doing highly technical ice climbing or dry tooling, this obviously isn't the axe for you, but hopefully you know that at this point. So I'll assume that if you're here, it's because you're considering picking up the Black Diamond Raven uh, ice axe. Uh, and that means you're in the market for a basic or general mountaineering ice axe. Uh, you always want to make sure that when you're purchasing one, it's stamped by something like the uh, CE here, um, or another uh, international uh, standard organization, because this will ensure uh, that the ice axe is durable enough and is held up to the testing of those rating organizations. Uh, you'll want to look for like a B stamp or whatever on the shaft of the ice axe because this means that it has been rated as a uh, basic ice axe and you really do want that minimum durability. But luckily, most all ice axes made by major brands such as Black Diamond, Gravel, Camp, most of those ones, uh, most all of those are gonna be C and uh, rated, so you should be good there. But it's always good to check to make sure because again, this is a tool and it's a tool that can save your life as it probably has mine. So you want to buy with care. But beyond that, there's a few key points to talk about when looking at an ice axe. And there's a few reasons why I chose this particular ice axe. And for me, number one is cost. Can't, you can't really bypass that one. Um, can't count it out. Uh, money does play a factor. And ice axes can get really expensive, especially if you're getting into those uh, ice tools, dry tooling, all of that. But a basic general mountaineer ice axe is going to cost you between probably 80 to $200, somewhere in that vicinity. You have the more advanced options like the Petzl Sumtech or uh, maybe Summit Evo, I believe, are some of their newer models that are a little more curved, but still retain most of the general mountaineering ice axe shape and uh, overall design. And then you're gonna have more basic models like the Black Diamond Raven, which is kind of the standard basic ice axe model. Another thing to count in is if you're planning to get tip protectors, this will be an additional $15. I honestly don't know why they do not come with the axe. I kind of am still mad that I had to pay $15 for these, but there you are. Now moving on to the uh, axe itself, you have a very basic shaft. Um, length will of course depend on uh, your height, but I'll leave that to you and uh, the employees of whatever store you go to pick this up. It's got a very basic spike at the bottom of the shaft. It's got a hole. Usually this will fill up with snow if you're poking it in. Um, at this point, I can't quite remember how sharp the spike down here was. I think it was fairly sharp though um, because I've had to resharpen it multiple times. That all works as it should. It's a regular spike. And the straight shaft, the straight shaft is a basic design but it's useful for like probing crevasses, um, things like that. It can be useful if you're glissading, right, to control your speed uh, and maybe a little bit of steering as well. If you're using, if you're going to be using your ice axe with uh, when glissading, uh, which you probably should be. <laughs> so yeah, basic spike and then your shaft, very simple. But here, the head is really where a lot of axes differentiate themselves, and the black diamond does really stand out in this regard. Many people have praised it for its comfort and I am inclined to agree. 
I think they did a really good job, especially compared to some of the other uh, ice axes on the market, making this as ergonomic a handle as possible. So if you're carrying it in uh, right self arrest position, self belay, um, or really you know however you want to, uh, you know, a high dagger, like a low dagger, like really however you want to carry this guy, it's going to um, be it's going to be pretty comfortable and. Because you have these holes up here, you've got a couple of attachment options where you can attach things like a leash or whatever. But really, it's very smooth through here, very comfortable. You will not have a problem resting your hand on this for long hours on summit pushes. So the pick and, and the ats right here are pretty basic. It's got some uh, positive clearance, as you can see. It's got a couple of teeth along here. Not super sharp or anything, but they really don't have to be. A solid angle right here. Pretty general, basic um, stuff. You'll find a similar angle in, and similar uh, clearance in most ice axes. And then on the ats, you'll notice there is this hole in the ats, which some uh, may argue might inhibit its performance for things like chopping steps or clearing snow. Uh, I haven't really had many any issues with the hole, um, and I think it is a pretty efficient way to save a little bit of weight. And then the back of the ats is, of course, fairly sharp. You can use it to cut steps, you know, move snow, do all these sorts of things. It's your typical ads, and it does a good job um, of being an ads. I really have had no problems with this. The pick digs into snow quickly, and uh, it can effectively stop you if you're in a self-arrest situation, uh, which I have been in multiple times, and I've been very glad to have the Raven by my side when I'm doing so. Now, another thing to mention, is the Black Diamond Raven Pro. This is a that's a much lighter ice axe for a little bit more money. So if you're more budget inclined, this is a great basic ice axe that you can really trust your life to. It's durable. Tons of people have used it. It's popular for a reason, and it served me very well. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more, and uh, you're a little more weight conscious, the Black Diamond Raven Pro is basically the exact same model but made out of lighter materials but without sacrificing that durability. Some people might claim it feels less durable and that's certainly um, an argument you could make because of the lighter construction but I really see no reason why you wouldn't then uh, step it up to the Raven Pro if you've got the extra cash simply because those weight savings and mountaineering can be a heavy uh, pretty heavy activity and pounds add up quick. And so reducing weight where you can uh, can be an, often a very smart move. And so that's why I think going with like a, the Raven Pro might be a good choice. But if you're on a budget, I have no fear recommending the Black Diamond Raven as an ice axe to any general mountaineering um, enthusiast because it's a standard axe and it does its job really well. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you liked the content, then uh, consider subscribing. And leave a comment if you have something to say. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.